your girl Dana Michelle. If you're new and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. Hey y'all, how you doing? I hope you are well. I am on my way to work, y'all. And we're going to breakfast, just like a little before everybody disappears for the holidays kind of thing. Um, so looking forward to that. You guys, so I went and got my nose pierced uh, two days ago. And I'm gonna include the video footage in this vlog from that. I I feel like my nose like has always needed to have a piercing in it. Like I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I will share that footage with you guys in this vlog. Um, what else do I have going on y'all? I don't have a lot going on. Christmas shopping is complete, thank the Lord. Uh, I just got to get some wrapping paper and wrap a few of the smaller items, but other than that, y'all, I'm just ready to enjoy the festivities of the season, whatever that may be. So, um, yeah, I will check in you guys when I get to work and then probably when we go to breakfast and I have so many things that I want to talk with y'all about, share with y'all and see what y'all think about some things. So we will talk soon. Peace y'all. Oh, no, it was the other side, not her side. Oh, you can't touch it at all. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. So sorry. I was yeah. trying to do a funny for the video. My fault. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay, that's my fault. I'm going to swap the nose a little bit more, okay? Okay. Uh, I am going to use an alcohol for that. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take really dry it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, the reason why we I asked you to like just not touch your face overall is because transient bacteria, mm -hmm. as the name uh, refers to, it travels on the surface of the skin. Yeah. So we can't mess with it. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. It burns. Let it, yeah, your I was eyes. like, breathe out of your mouth. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> this is because of you. She yeah. had to do that because you touched my nose. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry. You turned. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told mom she couldn't touch her face, so she's like, hold on, I got you. <laughs> it's okay, it happens. And you learn, so we're all cool. I was like, mom's gonna give you shit, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> The main thing is just to take a nice big deep breath. Um, are you okay with needles? Like as far as fainting? Yeah, can you see them and not freak out? Uh, kind of, I'm probably gonna close my eyes. Okay, let's go yeah. ahead and close your eyes then. Now? Yes. Oh God, you shouldn't have told me that. You're okay, well, I mean, I you used to, you to be in dental okay. surgery. Hold on, wait, 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 can I just have a moment? Wait, 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 oh, mommy. Don't touch your face? I'm not. Mommy, you're fine. Do you want somebody to hold your hand? Uh. You're okay, I promise. I know Kyra's pain level is like, okay. Literally, my eyes just watered when I got mine done last time. Oh, it, yeah, I did watch it. It's so quick. They're gonna be okay. Okay. Yeah, and the nose is sensitive. Uh, you do have a tear duct on each side of the nose. So that means when I pierce it or you get hit in the face really hard, your eyes are going to water. And that's okay. just a normal reaction when piercing near the tear duct. Okay. The main thing for you is just take nice deep breaths in through the nose, very slow. Wait, not my breath. mouth? In through no. your nose. In through the nose. It's going to be like a... Out through your mouth. Wait, in through my nose, out through my mouth? Mm -hmm. Just out of your nose. Because I'm, I'm covering your mouth here. Oh. So very steady with your nose only. Just take it in all of the air that you can. And then try to let it all escape your lungs. You're gonna feel some pinching and pressure. And what I'm doing simply is just getting ready. I'm looking at the inside of the nose and I'm making sure everything makes sense. And then we'll go for the piercing when you're ready. And I won't do any surprise piercing here, okay? You're just gonna mm -hmm. take deep breaths. So there's that pinching and pressure and you're getting ready. Pinching and pressure, nothing ready. Okay, you have a very soft nostril. This is gonna go by fast. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pierce you on your exhale. Take a big breath in. 
Ready? Keep it relaxed. Ooh. Worst part's over. Keep breathing. In. You gotta breathe. Try to relax the face. That's it. You already did the bad Good part. Job, Keep breathing. And you're gonna feel just a bit of movement. The needle is passing through. The post is going in. I'm putting on your cute hammer disc. Are you doing okay? Uh huh. Keep that breathing steady. We're gonna lock it in. I'm gonna double check that lock. And she is good to go. See that wiggle room in there? Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be like that forever, guys. And then I'm just gonna swab the area, that little line that I made, and you're all done. You had no bleeding. Mm. <laughs> good job. <laughs> you did that job. Mm. <laughs> I'm probably one of the few piercers, especially in this studio, that actually pierce nostrils inside out. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I noticed that too. You're like, what are you doing? Oh, no. I, it's interesting to see, like, everyone's Techniques. different piercing styles. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people think, like, oh, which You're one's better? Life. And I'm like, none of Ooh, them. Ooh, I'm glad I, like, I took those lashes off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Some yeah. Some big old tears. <laughs> they would have been gone. But what's the crisis? It's just too many people coming across? Too many people are, what they're doing is like, they're trying to crack down all the immigrants, right? And like all the trains coming in from Mexico will get on top of the train. Oh. Uh, will get in the train. Oh. Uh, uh, but somebody needs to be over there telling them, don't come over here. It ain't that much better. <laughs> Is that what the border looks like? Yeah. I've never been I've never even been close to the border. Damn. You know, you know what that gives it? So they're giving that tool to the cop to like Morning climb over or whatever let them right. So guess what's gonna happen now? We're gonna go file it. Yes, I thought I told you that. Okay. But what about border patrol? Are um, are they low manned or something? They don't have enough people to do it themselves. Now when you got like two thousand, three thousand people a day trying to come in, and they're not trickling in, they come in by a van. That's crazy. Hey y'all. I'm back. So y'all, I just left um, Home Depot. I got some potting soil, some perlite, and some planters and saucers because y'all, my plant babies have been doing so good in the intelligent or the smart planter. Uh, and I'll show you guys when I get to the house, but my plant babies have been doing so good and it's time to put them in the ground y'all so um not put them in the ground they've been doing so good in the smart planter and they've like taken off so it's definitely time to repot them and so i had to reach out to the plant lady aka my mommy and ask her what I needed to get to um, to make sure that my plants survive. I'm attached to them. Like we've started from the bottom and now we're here. They were little seeds and now they are plants and they will soon be medicine for my family and my loved ones and I'm so excited, so excited. And yeah, I'm gonna, let y'all go and i'm gonna hit y'all back when i get to the house so that i can show you guys my plant babies because i don't think i've shown you guys um my plants i haven't so i must introduce you guys because 
you know we are family like a giant tree branching out towards the sky we are family we are so much more i'm about to turn around because uh traffic is bad but uh go ahead oh thank you but yeah y'all when i get to the house i will introduce you guys to my plant babies and we'll go from there peace all right y'all here are my plant babies um this is saint john's wort um which can be useful for depression and anxiety this one is my ashwagandha Ooh, why is it not focusing oh my god there we go this is the ashwagandha uh which is doing amazing then back here is the uh the clary sage this is my sage back here is my mullen which is good for respiratory gets rid of mucus and all that stuff and then here is my lemon balm so i've got to get these babies repotted and then i also have dwarf moringa but i have a dwarf moringa plant that i can show y'all too um she ain't doing so well but i'll show y'all hey y'all so i'm about to pot these babies and pray for the best because i don't know what i'm doing i really don't know what i'm doing oh my god the heck so you guys um I watch a lot of YouTube and there is this YouTube channel called Harley Initiated. It's very popular. Um, and they recently had a show where they had this guy, his name is Tim Ross. Um, he's very Christian based, but I like him because he's real. Uh, and then they had Princella, Princessa, I don't know, Princella, I think that's her name. And I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with her, but um, she believes and her platform uh, promotes that men and women are not supposed to be together or live together and that men are diabolical and uh, women are better off by themselves or with each other. Um, so she's very much on that end where Tim is more biblical, um, traditional, but not so much, if that makes sense. But, um, y'all, that lady, Princella, she, she be talking about and I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. If you are, let me know in the comments if y'all feel the same way. But it just feels like she just be talking in circles and not really closing the circle. She doesn't, she just does a whole bunch of half circles and leaves you like, huh? Or they ask, they would ask her a question and then she would just go off on a tangent. Do you, have any of y'all watched the Black Lady sketch show that used to come on, I think it was on Prime? And one of the characters on Black Lady Sketch Show was Dr. Hasifa, I think. And she was this African culture's very pro-Black professor. But she talked like she had just got out of prison. Like she would just, would just throw out big words and like, like talk around everything but never speak to anything. That's kind of what Princella sounds like when she's talking to me. Like, I don't judge how people want to live their life. If you if that's what you believe, that's fine. But I just don't, I mean, she does all this, you know, everything that I say is, is scientific and she gives a lot of statistics and she talks about how statistically women are better off than men and statistically uh, relationships that include men and women fail more. But, but I mean, let's just keep it real we don't discriminate here 
like there's LGBTQIA plus couples that are unhealthy and toxic and diabolical or whatever. And so it, I don't feel like strictly placing that on a man is the answer because there are lesbian women who are studs who could be worse than a man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't think that any gender should be assigned that, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just generalize that, but I definitely encourage you guys to go check that, uh, podcast out. I'll link it. It's long, but it's good it's like it's really good y'all so anyways let me shut up and get started i think i need to get some scissors i had scissors behind me the whole time y'all a mess so i'm trying to get this done because i have to go meet with my first uh, doula baby's family today at five to do a postpartum visit, make sure that everything is good, make sure that baby is eating okay, make sure that mom is taking care of herself and just make sure there's no signs of any postpartum um, blues or anything like that and see if there's anything else they need from me, if they need resources or if they need more support then I make sure to get that for them. Um, and if not, then I bid farewell and I don't see them again unless they reach out to me for another pregnancy. So yeah, it's kind of sad because you get attached and then you kind of have to get unattached. Let me get a red cup. You got dresses in your closet, but you grab them tight. You in love with being modest. You a mood body giving semen fuels. I'm just saying I'm a mule, but you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted it up, cover wolf, different vibe, you know, and blue. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to walk. Number one fan, you side your plot. Let me think about it, side the walls. Mm. All right, y'all. So I have placed all my babies in soil. This is my Greek mullen. This is my St. John's wort. Right here is the lemon balm. Yes, it's leaning, but don't worry. And then this right here, this little sad little baby right here is my ashwagandha. My mom said that the plants, that the plants might go into shock because they just got moved from water to soil um i lost my sage this is all that's left of her but that's okay because i've got some empty pots with some extra soil and i'm gonna start from scratch and i'm just gonna start them in soil this right here is my dwarf moringa tree the leaves are gone y'all but they're not in season so i'm not too concerned um so we'll see what happens um when the season changes but yeah you guys i just wanted to show you guys i successfully transplanted my babies so keep keep sending your prayers and your thoughts to my to my baby so they survive um but yeah i love you guys i pray you are well and at peace and i will check in with you guys later peace Thank you.